and welcome to Ellen Ruth Soap. I'm Ellen and today I'm making a rainforest inspired soap using this fragrance, Rainforest, <laughs> from Wholesale Supply Plus. Oh, this is a really nice fragrance. I've used it before. It soaps really well. Um, and the description, the scent description says sweet citrus, uh, jasmine, and blonde woods. It's just a nice, complex, very unisex scent. Um, it's not cloying uh, with a floral overnote. It's not too fruity. I love it. It's just a very nice fragrance and it holds up well in cold process. So Rainforest is the fragrance. And for that as my springboard, I was just thinking of beautiful earthy colors. So I'm going to do a blue and a green swirl in this soap and I'll be using evergreen and gorgeous blue micas from Wholesale Supply Plus. I just thought those looked really beautiful together. Um, I'll be using goat milk, uh, milk and oil method for this soap. Um, not a lot going on. I just want to do, probably do a hanger swirl. I have this be just swirly and beautiful. Do something simple on the top and just let the wonderful fragrance and the luxuriousness of the soap come through and speak for itself. So not a lot of bells and whistles, just a good bar of soap today. So I'm going to get everything pulled together, uh, start getting my lye solution prepped, get my hair pulled back, safety gear on. Let's make some rainforest inspired soap today. All right, it's time to get all of my additives in the soap oils here. And I have already added the fragrance oil in here because I know that it soaps pretty well. It doesn't cause acceleration. So I'm comfortable having it in here. Um, I would say, you know, <laughs> if any of you have been keeping up with my videos, you know I've made the mistake of doing this with fragrances I'm not familiar with and it's bitten me. So <laughs> if you're not familiar with the fragrance oil, don't do this. Add it in after the colors and everything. Thing. But um, sometimes if I'm just being lazy, I've got a lot of soap on the dock today to make and um, I just threw it in here because I know it's going to behave well. So anyway, fragrance is in here. I've got my goat milk here. Um, let me show you real quick what I do because I work with a steep water discount and I get a lot of questions on that. I do about a 25% water to the volume of oils uh, is where I like to. So because it's a steep water discount, um, I have a little bit of liquid to play with, so I put my colors in my mixing container with just a little bit of water, like maybe a half an ounce of water, and have them sort of dispersed in there so that they mix really easy. Um, sometimes I do that. I don't always do that. Sometimes I'll just put the mica powder right into the soap batter. And um, But anyway, in my prep work today for the day, I went ahead and did that so it was all ready to roll. So um, I can afford to do that because I have a water discount. So, all right, <laughs> let me get to soap in here and quit talking so much. There is my goat milk. And I'm going to add my kale and clay and my colloidal oats. And let me just say, this rainforest fragrance, I think it smells great. Uh, it had pretty good reviews. Not everybody loved the fragrance. I love it. Um, and it is a very good price for a fragrance oil. Fragrance oils can get really pricey. This one is very affordable, so uh, go check it out on Wholesale Supply Plus. Let me get this blended in and let them sit for a few minutes and then we will get to soaping. All right, I'm ready to get going with my lye solution, which has uh, cane sugar dissolved in the distilled water. Then I snip up my tuss of silk fibers, then I add my sodium hydroxide, and after it's cooled a little, it has uh, sodium lactate in it. So that's what's going on in this magical pot. <laughs> um, and I will get this in here. I have decided, because the goat milk does uh, turn kind of caramely, you'll never get, well, I shouldn't say never, you can, but most goat milk soaps will have an ivory sort of tinge to it. This fragrance color does say it discolors to a light tan, which isn't bad, but I've decided to put a little TD in the um, un mica portion just uh, to keep the colors really bright. I really want those that green and blue to stand out. So I'm just going to get this up to emulsion and you'll watch it go from this sort of ivory color to a beige and that's just the goat milk caramelizing in the lye solution and it will bounce back lighter but it does go through this sort of color morph and you know that's to be expected with the milk sugars and all that good stuff. So I'm just going for emulsion here and then we'll split off and I will stick blend as needed after I get my colors going. So let me get these split up.
All right, it's the next day. It's been about 24 hours since uh, we poured this one in the mold here. Oh, I just, I'm tickled. It smells great. That top is awesome. It was a little dull. I didn't have any soda ash, but I did come in and steam the top this morning just to shine it up because I think that's so pretty. It almost looks like peacock feathers to me, doesn't it? So pretty. Anyway, I can't wait to get in here and see how that swirl came out on the inside. So fun. I love a hanger swirl. Well, I love in the pot swirls. Golly, you know me, I love it all. <laughs> Soap making's just a blast for me. I just have fun every single time. And I'm really glad these colors um, seem to have come out really nice and vibrant. Very hopeful that the inside of this is gonna be spectacular. So let's get in here and see what it looks like. got the lovely Olga out and I have all my wires tightened. I've been really diligent about remembering to loosen the wires when I'm all done cutting when it's gone into storage and then tightening them back up because supposedly that will help extend the life of the wires. So I'm trying really hard to remember to do that. Oh these are so pretty. I'm tickled with that top. Let's get in here. Um, can't wait to see this swirl and again this fragrance uh, did get mixed reviews on Wholesale Supplies Plus um, but I'm finding it really really nice my husband thought it smelled fantastic ooh that's pretty that's my little end piece let's get in here um, and again this fragrance oil is a very affordable fragrance oil all right let's try it that way, oh here, let's go this way. Wow, look at those swirls, those tiny little ones. What is that, is that an orchid, is that an alien? What do you see, ooh, ooh, okay, look, look. I see eyeballs here and nostrils, like a bullhead or something, what do you see? Anyway, <laughs> sorry, I'm a little too into that, aren't I? I think these swirls are gorgeous, let's keep looking. All right, let's get our next set out here. And there's the side, and let's open up. Ooh, another pretty one. Look at those swirls, y'all. Loving that, and that evergreen color is really beautiful. It has a blue tinge to it, that green color, but I think it's spectacular. Really loving it. All right. this one. Oh, sorry, went the wrong way. There we go. Oh, those swirls. So pretty. That looks like a butterfly wing to me. All right, let's get to the next loaf. And again, these end pieces go in my um, soap end bundles, and then I make um, little free samples that go out with every single order that I ship gets a free soap sample in it. So that's what I do with the, you know, odd bits and pieces on the ends. 